Full ROM sets in MAME are a great way of getting you up and running, but sometimes you just want to load the games you really want to play without the thousands of others. Let me show you how to create your own custom ROM set. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Playing arcade games on your computer or your modded console or even your handheld devices is great fun, but getting it all set up can be a bit of a nightmare. For most systems, you'll be using the MAME emulator, which offers fantastic emulation, but has a confusing game file structure. Now, in most of my videos, I advise using a full ROM set download, which bypasses any compatibility issues. But this comes at the cost of having tens of gigabytes of game files with thousands of games that you either don't want or will never play. So in this video, I'll show you how to cut this down to just the games you want. So let's create a custom MAME ROM set. So first we need to have a quick overview of how MAME ROM files are organised. Now I did make a full video on this topic a while back, so please do refer to that for a more in-depth explanation. Now essentially MAME has to emulate literally thousands of arcade cabinets, which means that there are endless combinations of motherboards, processors, IO devices, screen layouts and so on. Now some cabinets were reused for other games, but again tended to be slightly modified to create clone cabinets and clone games. So this gives us a hierarchy of ROM files. So a cabinet might have a common set of components for all the games that run on it. And we can think of these ROM files as sort of like the BIOS device, the base system. You then have the first game to be built using the cabinet with its own unique parts. So this game becomes a parent ROM. And the game cabinet then gets modified and reused in more games, with each one having their own custom parts, but they're mostly then of course based on that parent hardware, and we call these ones clones. So for a clone game to be emulated, you need to have the clone ROM files, the parent ROM files, and any BIOS files. So this creates tens of thousands of ROM files, so there was an attempt to organise them to keep the total file size down for a full ROM set. And this gave rise to things called split, merged and non-merged ROM sets. So in essence, split and merged ROM sets try to minimise duplication, so any particular ROM dump is only saved once in the ROM set. But they do mean that for a single game to run, you will need to have all the other files it depends on as well. What files you need can get a bit complicated to work out. Fully non-merged ROM sets ignore this file size issue and simply create one ROM file per game that has everything needed to get that game running. So the BIOS, parent and clone files are all in this one single ROM and these are the ROM sets that we need to get hold of. Now MAME, of course, does add a further complication to our files. So the MAME system is continually growing and improving with new ROM dumps and better emulation with each new version. This means that ROM files can sometimes only work with specific versions of MAME. So we need to make sure that we use a ROM set that matches the version of MAME we're using. For a lot of emulation systems, um, MAME version 0.78, which is also MAME 2003, is the preferred version. So, so RetroArch uses this as one of its main MAME cores. Um, Xbox and PlayStation 3 emulators use this. And a whole lot of handheld devices, which are usually based around RetroArch, that they use this version of MAME as well. So that's what we're going to be using to build our custom ROM set. Now the best place to find the files is on the Internet Archive. So here I've searched for MAME 2003 non-merged ROMs. And as you can see, there are some options we can choose from. Now obviously, um, you do need to check that you have permission to download any software files, as many of these games will still be under copyright. But I'm going to leave you to check that for yourself. I'm just going to assume that you have obtained a full ROM set. So once you've got hold of a full ROM set, 
Um, you may well find that you get that as a single archive or, or zip file, and you need to extract that into a folder on your computer so that we can see the individual ROMs. Now, these ROMs will also be zip files, but, but don't extract them. Uh, and you should really see something like this. So, so you may have some folders at the top of your list, uh, and these are what are known as CHD files. So, so these are yet another type of dump that MAME makes use of for some games, and, and they tend to be for later games. And these contain sort of CD and DVD images. They, they match ROM files by file name, so in here we have a folder called calspeed, and that then will match with the calspeed.zip rom file. And that then of course is for the game called California Speed. Now each of these rom files then should now contain a complete game. So all we need to do is to copy out the game files we need for our custom rom set folder. Uh, but I'm going to be doing this in a way that will let us actually test these games just to make sure that everything is working. So the best way to test ROMs is to actually try running them in MAME. Now if we go to the MAME website, we can actually get hold of any version of MAME that we want from the previous version section. So we're going to scroll down here until we find MAME 2003 or MAME version 0.78. So I'm running on a Windows PC, so I can just simply download the Windows binary version then and save that. I can then extract the files, and that will now give me a working copy of MAME 0.78. Now if I look inside the MAME folders that is created, you'll see that there is a ROMs folder, and then this is where MAME expects to find its ROM files. So I'm going to be using this folder, so the one inside the main folder, to assemble my custom ROM set. I can then use this downloaded version of MAME to test the files and just to make sure that everything is there and that they're actually going to work. So all we need to do now is to simply copy over the games that we want into this ROMs folder. Now, a, a lot of the ROM file names will make it quite easy to identify which game it is but some of them can be a little bit confusing. So, so the best place to get help for anything to do with MAME files is the arcade database. Now this lists all the games MAME can emulate and shows you file names, dependencies and the actual dump files required for each game. So you can search here for a game by name, pull up its details and then in the main data section the ROM set name actually tells you the zip file name you're looking for. So in this case, I want to play the Midway version of Pac-Man on my computer. So here it shows me then that I'll be looking for a file called Pac-Man and then .zip at the end of it. So you just simply need to go through, find all the games that you want to copy, identify which zip files they are, and then move those across into that ROMs folder. So once we've assembled our custom ROM pack then, um, it's worth just um, testing out a few games just to make sure that they're going to work before we then commit to transferring them over to our console. So to do this on a Windows PC, um, I simply need to use my file explorer to open up the MAME 0.78 folder. So that's the one that we just downloaded and extracted. And again, inside there we have our ROMs folder where we've been um, putting all of our custom ROMs into it. So this version of MAME actually runs from the command line. We don't have any sort of graphic interface for this. So we're going to need to open up a terminal window in this folder. So the easiest way to do that is to click up here in File Explorer in the Path Display. And when you click in there at the end of it, you should get it to turn into a text version of the folder location. So all we have to do here is to delete what's in there and type CMD followed by return, and this will instruct File Explorer to open up a command prompt in the folder that we want. So we should now have a command window, and we can now run any game by simply typing the command MAME followed by the game file name, but again we don't need to use the dot zip at the end of it. So if I want to try out my midway version of Pac-Man, I just simply need to type in MAME Pac-Man, and if I press return, if everything is all set up correctly, we should get Pac-Man up and running.
Now, if you have a properly formatted, fully non-merged ROM set, um, these games should all run correctly. But sometimes you will find that for whatever reason, perhaps a, a file has got missed or, or a parent ROM hasn't been included. Um, when you run a game using MAME, um, if it hasn't got all the files in the ROM set that it needs, it will show you exactly which ones are missing. So again, um, if you have got missing files, then the best place to find out where those files should be is through the Arcade database. So it actually does list all of the BIOS and parent files that should be included in your game files. So as I say, if you have got some files missing, the chances are it is going to be either a parent or a BIOS file that hasn't been copied across correctly. So you simply need to go and find those particular zip files and just put those into your custom ROM set folder. Um, you don't need to copy out individual files out of the actual zip files. So when main boots up, it understands that if it doesn't find the file it needs in the game zip file, it will then search for parent files and BIOS files and try and look for them there. So it should all then just start working properly. So now that you've got your custom ROM set files all assembled, um, all we need to do now is to transfer them to, well, whatever system you're going to be playing with them on. So I'm going to use these ones to put them onto my Xbox 360. Uh, so I've just been playing around with that recently for installing MAME. So let's transfer those files across into the ROMs folder in my MAME installation on my Xbox 360. And let's see if all those games come up and we can play them. So all I've done here is just do a basic file copy of my ROMs folder into the matching ROMs folder inside the main folder in my Xbox. And again, you can just see that's just the file simply copied across. So if I now boot up main on my Xbox and go to that, you can see here that we have our games listed. So all I need to do now is to simply select the one I want to play, and that should then have everything that that um, game needs all built into my new ROM set. And I've now got that game up and running. So I now have the ability to just simply select what games I want and build up a nice, personalized, um, minimalized uh, ROM set just with just games that I want to play. So I hope you find this useful. Um, you can use this, of course, for any um, system that uses MAME or, or MAME formatted um, ROM files uh, and just copy the files to where they're supposed to be. So. Um, if you find this useful, please do click that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more gaming, modding, electronics and making projects. I look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.